Bill Gates actually has said that of all of the possibilities out there, the thing that is most likely to kill more than 10 million people at one time is a pandemic. Do we think that we'll have another big pandemic that kills a lot of people? And the answer probably is yes. And the question is, are we ready for it? This is my favorite graph of all time because it's the most important graph for an emerging diseases student to know about. It shows deaths from infectious disease per 100,000 people in the United States over the course of the 20th century. What you see overall is a declining trend and then there's a big spike in about 1918. The incredible feature in this graph is the spike. This is the 1918 flu. It was caused by an influenza virus that went very quickly around the world in three waves. Most of the half a million deaths in the United States happened in about eight weeks in the fall of 1918, and between 50 and 100 million people were killed worldwide. And so, one of the central questions of my course is, could this happen again? Since the fall of 1996, I've taught my course, Emerging Diseases. When we talk about emerging diseases, we're actually talking about emerging infectious diseases. So it's things like Ebola and AIDS and influenza. So we're looking at things that really are becoming more of a problem. We spend a lot of time on Ebola, and we talk about the 2014 Ebola epidemic because that was something that all of my students are familiar with. And eventually we end up at AIDS, which is, of course, at this point, the classic emerging disease. And we start by talking about the emergence of AIDS um, in the United States. And I think my favorite part of that material is probably um, watching How to Survive a Plague, which is about AIDS activism um, in the 1980s and 1990s. And um, the group ACT UP that actually hastened the development of the antiretroviral drugs that are keeping so many people who are HIV positive alive. Writing is at the base of most of what the points come from in this course. I think learning to read well and ask better questions and be able to communicate about those important things with other people, those are really my goals. So at the beginning, we come up with a group definition of an emerging disease. And again, it's this sort of cloud idea. Well, it's probably dangerous and, you know, it probably spreads fast and there might not be a cure for it. By the end of the course, we fill the whiteboard and it's my little scratchy writing and you can barely read it. And then I just say, look what you've learned this semester. And there's this sort of sense of pride, I think, in the room, but also awe because it felt like all we were doing was reading great books and talking about them. But in the end, it all comes together to a really impressive big picture. <laughs>